my visible. Hmm. Well, this is the best I'm going to do. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Rosette and today we're going to be talking about my weight loss journey for the month of February. Um, honestly, I sound excited now. February was uh, not a great month for me at all but yeah so before we get into the video i would ask that you would subscribe so you can get notified anytime your girl uploads a video so you can spend time with me here on the internet um and if you like any part of this video please do give me a thumbs up and i think i think that's it so let's get into the video so for the month of february um i'm just gonna preface this you can kind of tell that I'm just not really feeling it. This, like, for February, it's currently March 19th. So it can kind of show how things have been going in my life. But um, certain areas of my life have been really hard and difficult for me to kind of deal with. And so my mood was definitely affected. I still lost weight, which was great. Um, I went from 222 to 219, which you'll see in the video um, when I kind of go back to the clips, which we'll do here in a minute. Um, but yeah, no, February was definitely a low point for me. January had a lot of anxiety. Um, February was more depressing for me just because of things that were going on in certain areas of my life. Um, and yeah, I just, my outlook was very poor and I feel like that just really affected me a lot. And it definitely affected me this month in March as well, but I'm starting to finally pick up. But yeah, I just, I lost a lot of motivation and I finished grad school last week on Tuesday. Well, I didn't finish it in total. I just finished my, my second to last quarter um, and my assignment was due on my last assignment for this course was due I'm trying to look it up on my phone here on the 17th so on St. Patrick's Day and it's currently the 19th of March <laughs> so I can kind of tell you yeah anyways um but yeah so I was focused on school and getting that type of thing done and I was working out but and I was eating healthy but yeah it just I don't know my mental health was definitely feeling it and I was a little depressed and very very anxious I struggle a lot with anxiety um, I just worry constantly and it kind of just like takes over to the point where I'll like wake up with it and I'm just like scared you know out of my mind so yeah February wasn't like a good month for me mental health wise but I still did lose some weight um, but yeah, let's just get into the, let's get into the documentation of what February was like so you can see for yourself. February 4th, 6 or 7, I just did the first HIT circuit workout by itself. I didn't do additional with like cardio or anything. It is, it's a hard workout, not gonna lie. Um, it was definitely good. I sweat so much. So, first day done of doing the HIT workout circuit training thing. I think it's going to be good. So February 4th is done. I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow morning. Ugh, I did wake up a little bit late. Um, otherwise I would have gotten like maybe like 12 minutes of cardio in but I want to be home before 6.15 so um, I, 
I didn't do that, but that's okay. Oh my gosh. I just got out the gym. And do you know how many degrees it is outside? It's one degree. It is actually hard to breathe outside. But I just finished the second workout. It was hard, but good. That's all I have to update. Tell me how I left the house and it was three degrees and now it's one degree outside. It got colder. Oh my gosh. Um, well, we, we made it to the end of the week. It is Friday. Uh, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you saw that I did hit. And then today, I just did um, like one ab circuit workout and then um, 20 minutes of cardio on the bike. Now it's 5.47. I am going home to get ready to go to work. So that is that. So today's Saturday and I weighed myself yesterday. I weighed 221. But today, for dinner just now, I had Chick-fil-A and we're going to Whole Foods to have um, some dessert before going to see a movie. So cheat meal, cheat day. Also, we had Valentine's Day brunch and had eggs, pancakes, bacon, lots of bacon. Um, I don't even know if you could see me throughout this whole video because I was like that. morning um this morning I did not want to go to the gym at all uh, and but I went mainly because I knew it was like an ab day I like looked at the hit program and it said abs predominantly and I was just like yeah I could skip that but then I got up um, around five and I was like I, I should just I should just go um, yesterday pretty healthy on Monday um, I had a ring pop and like a hundred calorie snack thing um which i think i got sick from because i think it went off um it probably wasn't good and but the ring pop was definitely delicious my mouth was blue okay i was just checking to make sure it still wasn't blue um but yeah today was abs and then cardio it is currently 5 58 i am gonna head home and i will check you in the next one Happy Valentine's Day. Today is the first time that I've sweat so much. I think it's because I'm sweating off this singleness. <laughs> jokes. Total jokes. But I'm actually exhausted. Today's workout was, I just, it took it out of me. I think it's because I just did good, really good form throughout the whole thing and I didn't skimp on anything. Um, I definitely took rest because I was tired, but also now I feel like really great um, afterwards. I always feel really great after I work out. Um, it was definitely easier to get up this morning because it's hotter outside. It's not like freezing cold. It's 41 degrees this morning. So yeah, anyways, happy Valentine's Day. Hope it was great for you, whether you are with someone or not. Hope you got to enjoy some sweet treats. So, just got home. Definitely treated myself to some Chick-fil-A for my Valentine's dinner with myself. Um, don't know if I mentioned yesterday, uh, the night before, I had two small bags of Hot Cheetos, the two for 98 cents at Walmart, as well as some Sour Bright uh, gummy worms. And I think that's it, yeah, that's all that I had. And then I also had, like, some you know, mini candy bars. And then today I definitely had some Thin Mints, definitely had some cookies because it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> you expect me not to treat myself? Um, so, sorry, I'm like horrible. I'm horrible at this. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm having more Thin Mints today and then they. So 
today is Saturday morning and I currently weigh 221 pounds. Earlier this week I did weigh myself um, on Wednesday and I was 220. Um, so, you know, gained that pound and that's fine. And then I think on Thursday I got down to 219 and I was like, oh, that's so fast. But then on Thursday, like, since it was Valentine's Day, I had, um, Chick-fil-A that evening, so obviously, like, it made sense that I would gain that weight because, um, I was eating super healthy and then had that entire meal. Um, and then yesterday, sorry, I have incense burning and, cause I, yeah, and it's just a little bit smoky, so sometimes my nose when it's stuffy can take time to adjust but I don't think I've mentioned that I am doing this completely like natural this weight loss so the only supplement that I'm using is protein powder but I have heard about branch chain amino acids BCAAs and how they aid in muscle recovery but also helping you retain muscle and um, burn and lose the fat so that you're not losing muscle as well and losing weight but you're just losing fat and retaining the muscle so I'm gonna look into it a little bit more I'm, I'm wanting to find one that's um, natural and healthy so I'm gonna to go to Sprouts and natural grocers today and try to find one but yeah I think that might be like my additional supplement that I might start taking um, next week so we shall see how that goes but I'm going to make myself some breakfast avocado and toast with egg and I bought bacon yesterday um for like meal prepping oh yeah yesterday I also had a churro like a large churro from um Costco and I also had a piece of cake and um I had the rest of my thin mints so it's probably where the pound um or two like you know gained back but I mean it's fine like they were choices that I knew I was making um, and I felt like I deserved that churro after trying not to pee myself in the car. If you follow me on Instagram, it's saved on a highlight story. You'll, you'll see, you'll get it. Um, anyway, I'm going to go make breakfast and I'll see you guys in the next update. So today is President's Day, it is currently 7.10 in the morning, um, I have today off, but I did talk about BCAAs and I bought them from Sprouts, I brought the healthiest one that I could find, um, it says you're supposed to take this one during and after your workout, um, I didn't notice the flavoring but I got watermelon, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. BCAAs supposed to help with muscle recovery and you're supposed to take it with 10 to 12 ounces of water um, and it has like three mini scoops so I'm gonna do that today and I'll report back and see how I feel um, yeah hopefully I feel fine but it's you know doesn't have like a lot of crap in it at all it's pretty healthy and I mean I got it from sprouts so Sprouts doesn't really sell like a lot of chemical things, so I feel like I definitely trust them. So I just got back from the gym, and this is my breakfast. Um, I was having just avocado on toast with egg um, with no bacon, but now I've added a slice of bacon. And then because I usually have my breakfast um, right after I work out, I have it with my protein uh, drink. So this is the protein powder that I use. I like the vanilla bean flavor um, and I add cinnamon to it. I realized um, last year that I've always done one scoop of this but their serving size says two. I don't know if you can read that. It says two scoops. I've always done one and I haven't changed it because I don't see the need to add two. Um, and yeah, and then I also, once I'm finished with my breakfast and the protein uh, shake, I will 
have my green juice um, to finish off. And then the next time I'll eat, hopefully will be lunch, but you know, sometimes I snack in between. The uh, BCAA drink was good. Um, it wasn't bad. It just, I think I'm not going to do three scoops as the serving size suggests. I think I might do one or two scoops and the scoops are like really, like they're not that big because that's massive, but um, they're like really, really tiny. Um, so yeah. Also, uh, another tip I learned is that I use half an avocado on my avocado toast. Um, and the toast that I use is Ezekiel bread. Um, and then I buy the applewood bacon from Trader Joe's. Um, I get pretty large avocados, but to preserve the other half, leave the pit in. Um, and then I put it in a baggie and then I put it in the fridge. But yeah, it, it like, it lasts till the next day when I have it. So I can always have like half. I mean, obviously you can tell how uneven that is. It wasn't the best cut in half, but you know, it, it works. <laughs> so I just got back from the gym. I woke up too late to do like a hit session. Um, so I just did cardio. Also, I'm speaking low because my roommates are sleeping and it is so, it's like 6, 10 or something. Um, I will say doing one and a half scoops of the BCAA um, powder thing is so much better. Like, their serving size of three scoops is honestly, the flavor is just too intense. And I think I'm just not used to drinking something like that. Um, if you're used to drinking like pre workout and post workout stuff, then maybe you'll be fine. Um, but yeah, one and a half scoops, I think it's fine. I think if you do three scoops, fill this thing to the freaking top because it is, yeah, that's a bit much. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, I definitely feel like I was pushed a little bit harder in my cardio, um, more than I normally am with this. So it's helpful. I haven't felt sore, but I mean... I will be able to really tell until I do another leg day, um, which won't be till Friday. So we shall see, but I will leave you here because I need to take a shower. So today is Saturday and I weighed myself yesterday um, and I'm 218.4 which is exciting, but I wasn't really excited when it happened. And I think this is just kind of proof that even when things are going right with your weight loss journey, if other areas of your life are not going well, um, you might not feel as excited about it. So when I had stepped on the scale yesterday and weighed myself and I was 218.4, I was just like pleasantly surprised of, oh, I lost weight this week and that's great but I wasn't like as ecstatic as I would have been because uh, other areas of my life have been very stressful very hard very difficult um, and I haven't been happy and been pretty sad so yeah I still feel like I still feel fat <laughs> um, to just be quite honest with you and I still I mean, like, I'm excited, like, I've noticed parts, like, my jeans are definitely fitting a lot looser now, which has been exciting and great, but I'm not as excited as I normally would have been, um, if things in other areas of my life weren't going in an interesting direction that I would not have chosen for myself. So, yeah, it's, I'm glad that I'm losing the weight, um, um, but it's still hard. <laughs> I would say like, yay, I'm 218.4, but, you know, and I'm losing more weight than I did last month, which is great. And also, I don't know if I've mentioned that, but my goal, I'm sorry, I keep moving around, but um, I don't know if I mentioned that last month, but my goal per month is to try to lose at least five pounds minimum. So 
definitely on it, but I mean, the last, going into a new month, I start my period and I gain weight. So we'll, we'll see how next week goes with the weight in terms of bloating and stuff like that, because I do gain weight when I am on my period. That's just how it is for me. Um, it's a normal thing. So I'm not like, I won't be too miffed about it if I don't lose weight or if I gain a couple more pounds because I'm gonna be on my period next week. But I do notice that like this shirt typically used to fit like pretty tight, even like on the arms. Um, and it's definitely a lot looser. A lot of my shirts are definitely starting to fit a lot looser, which is great. And my pants, um, as well are fitting a lot looser. So it's positive in that aspect of weight is going down, inches are going down. Um, but in terms of me being happy about it, I'm just not really that happy about it. Um, to be quite honest with you. So I'm rambling. Um, I'll see you in my next check-in. So I haven't worked out this week. Um, I've also been on my period this entire week. Today's Tuesday, so three days. Um, make that concentrate a little bit more on my face. Or did it just make it more blurrier? Let's see. I don't know. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm on my period. I just don't really feel like working out this week. I feel like also because I've worked out for like several months straight, week after week, I'm just going to give myself this week off of having a break, but I will continue to do a weigh-in at the end of this month um, on Thursday since today, there's only 28 days in February. Um... And then we'll see kind of where I stack up. I was 218.4, I think, at the end of last week. Um, for sure, definitely gained a couple pounds because bloating is real when you're on your period. Um, and I just swell on my period. But, I mean, my pants still feel very baggy. My clothes still feel very baggy. I just, I, I still feel very bloated right now. Like, it just feels so bloated. Um, so yeah, let me just put my shirt down. <laughs> See you at the end of the month. I mean, who knows? Maybe tomorrow morning I could go to the gym. I highly doubt it though, because I have class tonight and I never go to the gym after I have class because I'm always exhausted. But yeah, this week I'm just tired and this period is just, it's not that it's painful. Like my cramps aren't painful at all. It's just like, I'm very fatigued. So that's one of my symptoms this week. And I'm just kind of like, I'm giving myself a break. I'm still eating very healthy. Um, but I am giving myself a break. Although over the weekend, had cheat meal days. Cheat days the entire weekend. So for sure gained a couple pounds back. But you know, look, it's life. And I definitely go up and down with this weight loss. So whatever that was. See you in the next update. Maybe Thursday I'll, uh, excuse me, maybe Thursday I'll go to the gym. We'll see. So there we have it. That was February. I didn't really sound that excited, but, um, with my last weigh-in check-in with you guys, but I feel like March is already better. I did get down to 217 in March. Spoiler alert. And then I kind of gained it back to 219. <laughs> so I definitely do have more of a positive outlook on it. And I mean, it is the 19th, but um, I think by the end of March, I'll be, I'll be fine to maybe get to 217 or 215 would be really nice. But as I said before, my goal is uh, to, to lose five pounds a month. Um, I feel especially with the way that I'm going about it, I'm not exactly reaching it yet, but I'm still going down. It's very much not like this type of thing, just straight down. It's very much like doo -doo, and then up and then down and then spike up and then back down and then spike up and back down. So I feel like that's, and I'm looking in the screen here to my right um, to kind of showcase that. Also, I wanted to share some apps that I use to help me in this weight loss journey. So 
everybody always talks about keeping a food diary, which writing it down, I do love stationery, but writing down my food, honestly, like, I just, it's not helpful to me, And but with my fitness pal, which um, I will go to kind of today, so you can kind of like track like your breakfast and then go on to your lunch and then your dinner and then snacks and then exercises down there and then you can also track your water at the very bottom I know you can't really see the screen but anyways you can do that daily and before you and, and it's totally free to download I don't know if I I mentioned that before I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit more so it's easy so you're not like I'm not like trying to look into you anymore um but yeah so I use my fitness pal which is powered by Under Armour um not sponsored by the way, uh, but Under Armour, if you want a sponsor, girl, <laughs> holla and I will reply um, with enthusiasm. But pretty much, I use this to keep track of my food intake as well as my water and my exercise. And so um, you can put in any type of food, any type of snacks that you have, and it can just log it all here. And then it also tracks your progress for you. So you can kind of see my little, <laughs> you just, you can kind of see like it kind of went up a little bit and then it's going back down. Um, but yeah, my start weight was 233 and I'm currently at 219.4. Um, and it kind of like logs it for each time that you logged it, uh, logged your weight here. And then it shows like the little, um, chart there so you can kind of see like your progress so mine is definitely uh interesting but you know it's okay i'm not i'm not mad at it you know i'm it's a journey it's a lifestyle that i'm trying to incorporate so that is what matters to me but yeah this is the app that i use and then i also um i've mentioned massey iris but and I also feel like I'm not saying her last name correctly, so I apologize for that. But she has like workout programs that you can use and she kind of like takes you through. I won't show you all of it, but I did pay for it um, a couple years ago back in 2016. And then I've used it kind of intermi intermittently, 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 yeah, intermittently. Um, and it, it definitely works. It definitely like, exhausts me slays me in all my workouts but that is something that I use and it's just you download PDF and then she links to videos where she shows you exactly how to do um, the exercises so that is really really great but yeah those are some of the things that I use um, and I eat really simple I meal prep which I'm gonna be uh, posting a video here soon shortly so look out for that but yeah, thanks so much for getting to the end of this video. I know it was kind of um, not that exciting as in my mood was just not great, but you know, that's life. Um, sorry if the light is going in and out. It is the evening and I just got off work and I needed to make sure that I did this because I promised that I would uh, put out videos this week, at least three, <laughs> and it's Tuesday, so. This will be really easy for me to just kind of edit and get up on Wednesday, God's willing. But yeah, if you liked any part of this video, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you can hang out with me um, the next time I post. And so yeah, thanks for tagging along on my fitness journey. I will see you for the March recap. Um, hopefully it will be a lot more positive because my outlook is definitely become more positive uh this month especially with my mental health but that's life as i said so uh don't forget to stay kind stay true and stay laughing and comment below um if you're also on a weight loss journey i would love to know all right bye